Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing the CSEC Social Studies May June 2016 Paper 1. But if you are visiting the channel for the first time, just pause this video and go right ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos are posted. And to those who are my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. And please give this video a thumbs up, give it a like. Let us get right into it. The first question says, which of the following are aspects of the socialization process? One, recreational activity. Two, religious teaching. Three, reproduction. Our answer options are A, 1 and 2 only, B, 1 and 3 only, C, 2 and 3 only, or D, 1, 2 and 3. Well, we know 3, reproduction, that would be out. So we know our answer would be 1 and 2. So our answer would be A, would be our answer. because reproduction is another function of the family. Two says, in which of the following family types are cultural traditions passed from older members to most children, to children most easily? A, nuclear, B, extended, C, single parent, D, sibling controlled. Well, we know this would be the extended family because that includes the grandparents and so Cultural traditions are passed on from one generation to the next. So B. Let's move on to number three. The term patrifocal refers to a family in which A, the father is the authority figure in the household. B, the mother is not present in the household. C, kinship is traced along the father's line of ancestors. D, husband and wife live at the home of the husband's parents. Will we know patri? Patrifocal is the, the father dominant authority. So we know it would be A, the father is the authority figure in the household. Let's move on to number four. More husbands are now performing household chores mainly because they A, get more time off from work than their wives, B, prefer to remain at home and assist their wives, C, enjoy using the labor-saving devices in the home, or D, are responding to the changing roles of family members. We know it would be D. They are responding to the changing roles of family members. Let's go on to number five. It says, which of the following is not a role that females traditionally play in the family? A, caregiver. B, homemaker. C, breadwinner. D, socializing agent. Well, we know is the breadwinner. All the others are females' traditional roles. Number six, which of the following would most likely result from women working outside the home? One, improve the standard of living. Two, higher self-esteem for women. Three, declining family values. Is it A, one and two only? B, one and three only? C, two and three only? D, one, two and three? Well, the answer would be A, one and two only. Some persons may include three, but that's not always in most cases declining family values so i would say one and two only seven which of the following situations represents a recent change in roles of family members a fathers being employed in white collar jobs b mothers spending more time with their babies c adolescents playing a part in family decision making or d grandparents playing a more effective socializing role we know it would be C. Adolescents playing a part in family decision making. So that is our answer. Eight. Which of the following best explains the reason for 
the promotion of family planning in the Caribbean. A, to ensure a balance in numbers between male and female. B, to teach parents to supervise the activities of their children. C, to allow persons to have sexual relationships with chosen partners. D, to give parents control over the number and spacing of their children. We know it is D, to give parents control over the number and spacing of their children. So that would be the best to explain the reason or promotion of family planning in the Caribbean. Let's go on to number nine. Which of the following is likely to undermine the authority of parents in the home? A, setting and enforcing clear rules for conduct. B, inconsistency in rewarding and punishing children. C, giving cash allowances to adolescent family members. Or D, allowing children to participate in family decision making. We know it would be B, inconsistency in rewarding and punishing children. So that is likely to undermine the authority of parents. Item 10 is based on the following passage. Unemployment and hard economic conditions have forced both parents in some Caribbean families to migrate, leaving an elder son or daughter to care for younger brothers and sisters. 10. Which of the following problem is least? likely to affect the younger brothers and sisters of such families? A, low achievement at school. B, breakdown in discipline in the home. C, lack of adult role models in the home. Or D, lack of opportunity for peer group interaction. We know it would be D, lack of opportunity for peer group interaction. So that is least likely to affect younger brothers and sisters. Questions, question 11 says, which of the following most likely accounts for the high incidence of street children in the Caribbean? A, selling of illegal drugs. B, stealing to support self. C, abandonment of children. Or D, involvement in prostitution. So we know it would be C, abandonment of children. Twelve. It says, which of the following is not a way by which traditional customs are kept alive in the Caribbean? A, archives compiling local oral history. B, villagers organizing folk festivals annually. C, families practicing ancestral dances regularly, or D, government supporting senior citizens' homes. We know it would be D, government supporting senior citizens' homes. That is not anything contributing to traditional customs kept alive. 13. Which of the following characteristics must a group possess for it to be considered a formal group? 1. Code of conduct. 2 specific objectives three membership requirements our answer options are a one and two only b one and three only c two and three only or d one two and three we know it would be all of them one two and three so our answer would be d let's go on to number 14. a school is a formal group meaning because members a perform the same rituals B, live in the same community. C, are selected by other members. D, participate in community activities. So we know it would be A, perform the same rituals. 15. Which of the following actions is likely to lead to the survival of a group? A, solving problems as a group. B, members acting individually. C, leader controlling group members d members being critical of group goals we know b c and d those actions could not allow a group to survive that would uh, um, actually cause a group to be broken up to 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 um it will not be a coherent group so a would be your answer solving problems of a group that would make it survive 16 which of the following are characteristics of a strong leader one is willing to make decisions two is always lenient with members three does not tolerate disorder 
Our answer options are A, 1 and 2 only, B, 1 and 3 only, C, 2 and 3 only, or D, 1, 2 and 3. So we know it would be B, 1 and 3 only. So if the group leader is lenient, then everybody feel that they can do what they want and get away with it. So no order. It would be chaos in that group. Let's move on to item 17 to 18. Refer to the following dialogue. Sita, when Marvin was group leader, he, always, he was always ordering us about. Paul, me, I prefer a group leader who allows members to do as they please. 17 says, the leadership style of Marvin, as described in the dialogue above, is A, autocratic, B, democratic, C, charismatic, D, laser fear. We know it would be autocratic. Because, as it says, the group leader was always ordering us about. So that's what an autocratic does. Make the decisions hand it down, and they have to follow the rules and regulations. 18. Paul's statement indicates that he prefers a leader with a style that is A, autocratic, B, democratic, C, laser fair, D, charismatic. We know it is C, laser fair. 19 says... Adolescents are most likely to influence each other in a positive way when they A, force each other to accept the same values, B, advise each other to carry out antisocial activities, C, encourage each other to always challenge adults' views, D, become involved in guidance and counseling activities. We know it would be D. Let's go on to 20 says, democratic control and open membership are features of a, a street, street gang, B, public company, C, private company, D, cooperative society. We know it would be D, cooperative society, because all the others have requirements for you to become a member, so D would be your answer. 21. Which of the following would not usually be associated with educational institutions? A. Rules and regulations. B. Customs and traditions. C. Suppression of freedom. D. Transmission of culture. We know it would be C. Suppression of freedom. All the others are associated with educational institutions. 22 says, which of the following may be classified as institutions? One, government. Two, marriage. Three, religion. A, one only. B, one and two only. Three, C, two and three only. Or D, one, two and three. So it is one, two and three. Let's move on to number 23. Number 23 says, which of the following is least likely to lead to protest by a trade union? A, inadequate benefits for workers. B, unhealthy working environment. C, few opportunities for promotion. Or D, expensive housing for managers. We know it would be D, A, B, and C are what they would protest for as a trade union. So D would be least likely. 24 says, which of the following election strategies is a political party likely to use to reach a large number of persons in the shortest possible time? A, public meetings, B, radio advertisements, C, house to house visits, or D, public opinion surveys? We know that our answer would be B, radio advertisements. So that is what is likely to reach a larger population of people. 25. Caribbean countries where the Queen of England is the head of state may be described as A. Republics, B. Monarchies, C. Democracies, D. Dictatorships. We know once it's the Queen, we know it is Monarchies, B. Let's go on to number 26. Which of the following groups of Caribbean countries have a republican form of government? A. Barbados and St. Kitts and Nevis. B. Antigua and Barbuda and Montserrat. C. Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. 
D, Jamaican St. Vincent's and the Grenadines. It would be C, Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. 27 says, in a constitutional monarchy, the political leader of the victorious party becomes A, Prime Minister, B, Governor General, C, Leader of the House, D, President of the Senate. We know it is A, Prime Minister, like, like our country here, Jamaica. Let's move on to number 28. The role of the opposition in parliament can best be described as A, inciting civil disobedience and mass protest, B, voting in favor of all bills debated in parliament, C, rejecting policies which the ruling party proposes, or D, analyzing government's policies and presenting alternatives. We know it would be D, analyzing government policies and presenting alternatives. Let's go on to number 29. Here it says, in all CARICOM countries, citizens have the right to vote. This right is preserved because A, general elections occur every four or five years. B, citizens only vote if required by the law to do so. C, it is enshrined in the constitutions of these countries. Or D, there are two or more political parties for which citizens vote. We know it is C, it is enshrined in the constitution of these countries. 30 cells. The constitutions of Commonwealth Caribbean countries guarantee citizens freedom of conscience, expression, and assembly, and movement. These freedoms are usually referred to as A, citizenship, B, civic duties, C, human rights, D, independence. We know it is C, human rights. Let's move on to 31. The population density of a country will be high if the A, birth rate is high and the death rate is low, B, death rate is low and the birth rate is low, C, death rate is high and the birth rate is low, D, birth rate is high and the death rate is high. So we know it is A, birth rate is high and the death rate is low. Let's go on to 32. Which of the following best describes a census? A, the collection of information on the birth, births and deaths in a country. B, the res registration of persons in preparation for general elections in a country. C, information on the amount of money spent on goods and services in a country. D, the counting and recording of the characteristics of the population in a country. So we know it would be D. Let's go on to... 33. Which of the following is not a result of population growth? A. Traffic congestion. B. Availability of land. C. Development of slums. D. Increased demands on social services. So we know that our answer would be B. Availability of land. So that is not a result, um, not a result of population growth. Let's move on to 34. An example of intra-regional migration is the movement of people from A, Jamaica to the United States, B, the United States and Montserrat, C, Anguilla to the United Kingdom, D, Trinidad and Tobago to St. Lucia. So we know intra-regional within the same geographical area or region. So D would be our answer. 35. Which of the following situations is least likely to result from an increase in immigration in a country? A. Overpopulation. B. Reduction in wages. C. Increase in job opportunities. Or D. Overcrowding in urban areas. We know it is B. Reduction in wages. That is least likely to result from an increase in immigration in a country. 36. Which of the following would discourage immigration? A. High standard of living in the destination country. B. Relaxed immigration laws in the destination country. C. Availability of well-paid jobs in the country of origin. Or D. Lack of economic opportunities in the country of origin. We know it would be C. Availability of well-paid jobs in the country of origin. Let's move on to 37. 
It says, which of the following is most likely to result from rising levels of unemployment in a country? A, high birth rate, B, increased emigration, C, increased in workers' salaries, D, increased sporting activities. We know it would be B, increased immigration. Go on to 38. Which of the following is least likely to lead to the development of the human resources of a country? A, improved health services. B, increase in the cost of living. C, increase in the minimum wage. D, improved educational opportunities. We know it would be B, increased in cost of living. 39. Most of the Caribbean countries remain producers of primary products mainly because they are they A are agriculturally based, B possess few mineral resources, C lack the means to process their resources, or D have labor forces that are largely unskilled. We know it is C lack the means to process their resources. 40. Which of the following is based on exploiting non-renewable natural resources? A. Fishing. B. Lumbering. C. Bauxite mining or D. Hydroelectric power. We know it is C. Bauxite mining. 41 says, which of the following groups of resources can be classified as renewable? A. Forest, water, land. B. Land, bauxite, asphalt. C. Petroleum, forest. Water or D, bauxite, petroleum, natural gas. We know it would be A, forest, water, land. 42 says, which of the fallen Caribbean territories has the least amount of forest resources? A, Belize, B, Guyana, C, Barbados, or D, Dominica. We know it is Barbados, C. Let's go on to 43. Which of the following would play an important part in a government's effort to increase consumption of locally produced food? A. Increasing subsidies to farmers. B. Increasing the price on agricultural lands. C. Imposing heavy import duties on farm tools. D. Cutting down forest trees to make land available to farmers. So we know it would be A. Increasing subsidies to farmers. Let's go on to 44. Fish, bauxite, and sand are best classified as A, minerals, B, elements, C, products, D, resources. We know it is D, resources. 45 says, which of the following are ways by which people have caused soil, soil erosion in the Caribbean? 1, mining. 2, slash and burn. 3, crop rotation. Is it A, one and two only, B, one and three only, C, two and three only, or D, one, two, and three. So we know it would be A, one and two only. 46 says, which of the following has the potential to cause the most serious threat to of pollution to the beaches of the Caribbean, A, an oil spill from a tanker, B, hurricanes and high tides, C, improper garbage disposal, or D, unsuitable fishing practices. C, improper garbage, bar, garbage disposal. Some may want to select A, but that is not much frequently done, so C would be your best answer. Item 47 refers to the following graph, which shows the life expectancy of females in country A, 1950 to 2010. So we see our life expectancy and our year of birth. So we see when we take a look, so we saw the increase, the peak, the year, life expectancy got an increase on the whole it, it travels steadily and then it we got an increase so let's look at 47 it says which of the following statement is correct based on the graph above a the life expectancy decline after 2000 
B, before 1980, no one was likely to live past the age of 50. C, between 1980 and 2010, women live longer than men. D, persons born in 1990 were more likely to live past 60 than those born in 1970. So we know it is D. Persons born in 1990 were more likely to live past 60 than those born in 1970, as we see here. Nineteen sixty, sorry, nineteen sixty and nineteen seventy, right here. So let us go on. Forty-eight item forty-eight reference to the following diagram, which shows the population pyramid for country X. So we have male, and we have our age group, male and female, and the age group, and we have our percentages. So 48 says, which of the following features of country X may be gathered from the diagram above? A, size of the population. B, age sex distribution of the population. C, percentage of births per 1,000 of the population. D, percentage of the population below five years of age. So we know it is B, age sex distribution of the population. Let's go on to 49. Item 49 refers to the graph, which shows birth rate according to gender for a country Z. So this is another repeat question. So let's go at it. The graph above shows that in country Z, the A, female birth rate increased steadily between 1960 and 1990. B, female birth rate reached its highest level around the mid-1970s. C, male birth rate has always been lower than the female birth rate. D, Male birth rate is higher than the female birth rate between 1975 and 1980. We know our answer is B. Female birth rate reaches high speed level around the mid-1970s. 50 says, the treaty which led to the establishment of CARICOM is an example of A, bilateral agreement, B, unilateral agreement, C, functional agreement, or D, multilateral agreement. We know it is D, multilateral agreement. 51 says, economic integration as part of CARICOM's main objectives aim primarily at A, national, rationalizing CARICOM's existing tariffs, B, limiting outside access to CARICOM products, C, accelerating development in CARICOM countries, or D, reducing the debt owed by CARICOM member states. We know it is C accelerating development in CARICOM countries. Let's move on to 52. Which of the following does not result from industrial development in the Caribbean? A, increased exports. B, decline in employment. C, high standard of living. D, increased training opportunities. We know it is B, declining employment. 53 says, between 1958 and 1962, Caribbean governments made an attempt to unify the region politically by A, forming a federation, B, seeking independence, C, establishing character, or D, organizing CARICOM. We know it is A, forming a federation. 's move on to 54. The CARICOM Single Market and Economy, CSME, was created to deepen the integration movement and to respond to the challenges and opportunities of A, communism, B, globalization, C, independence, or D, republicanism. We know it is B, globalization. Let's move on to 55. Which of the following is the most important aim of the trading arrangements within CARICOM? A, to promote economic development in the region. B, to increase the markets and revenue of larger territories. C, to increase travel and contact among people of the region. D, to ensure that goods from outside the region become cheaper. A, to promote economic development in the region. Fifty-six. 
individual countries in the region are too small to make their presence felt on the world stage. Implied in this statement is the need for individual countries to A, return to colonialism, B, espouse republicanism, C, demand their democratic freedom, or D, seek to create trading links with each other. It is D, seek to create trading links with each other. 57. Which of the following may hinder economic integration in CARICOM? A, removal of duties and tariffs. B, restriction of on intra-regional trade. C, the establishment of a common currency. Or D, more funding from the Caribbean Development Bank. It is B, restriction on intra-regional trade. Let's go on to 58. CARICOM countries need to pool their skilled human resources. The most likely result of such action would be A, a speeding up of the rate of brain drain, B, a reduction in the need for foreign experts, C, a reduction in the workers' wages and salaries, D, an increase in the spending of foreign exchange. We know it is B, a reduction in the need for, of, need for foreign experts. 59. In relation to CARICOM, the University of the West Indies, the University of Guyana, and the Council of Legal Education are known as A, associate institutions, B, public organizations, C, multilateral institutions, or D, non-governmental organizations. It is A, associate institutions. Let's go on to our last questions now. Question, it says, which of the following is a function of the Caribbean Development Bank? A, regulating foreign exchange rates in CARICOM countries. B, providing loans to individuals in the Caribbean for home construction. C, serving as a central bank for all commercial banks in the Caribbean region. Or D, organizing and supervising loans for development work in the member states. So it would be D, organizing and supervising loans for development work in member states. So we have come to the End of the CSEC Social Studies, May, June 2016, Paper 1. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.